So many of you probably think it's bullshit, the claim that Rockstar has released some single player content. They actually have. Seemingly accidentally, because they didn't announce it at all. There's actually some online content as well, which I'll be getting into later. But basically, back when the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC version of GTA 5 were coming out, Rockstar was panicking like, oh my god, are people who played the 360 version and PS3 version actually going to buy the same game again? Would anyone actually do that? We don't know. They are, uh, uh, and, and they were panicking. Like, they're like, look, let us make some exclusive single player content and a little bit of online content to sweeten the deal for these PlayStation 3 people, these uh, Xbox 360 people. They called it the returning player bonus. And so for the last seven years, the only people who've had access to this content are those who played on the PS3 version and the Xbox 360 version. But a couple of months ago, there was someone at Rockstar who was drunk, as I expect most of them are most of the time. And he stumbled into the button that made it so that the system could no longer tell who played on PlayStation 3 and who played on Xbox 360. Everyone lost the returning player bonus. They were like, oh no! Now we can't give that back because we don't know who we're meant to give this content back to. What, what are we going to do? The possibility of like tens of thousands of people all writing tickets being like, Where is the content? My content is gone! They didn't want to have that happen. So they're like, the only way we can fix this is just by giving everyone the returning player bonus. So anyone who goes onto GT5, irrespective of if they played the previous versions, uh, will have a thing pop up saying returning player bonus and you get access to all the content. Today, I'm going to go through all that content. Like legit, I've played 8,800 hours of this game. I've never done any of this content. Some of it's small, some of it's big. I'm going to be going through it in no particular order. And as I say, I'll do the online stuff at the very end. Welcome back to Los Santos. As a returning social club player, you get special access to exclusive bonus content in story mode and GTA Online. Discover all new vehicles, weapons, collectibles, and more across Los Santos and Blaine County. If it doesn't appear for you, it doesn't matter. You still do have access to the content. So the first thing I want to do is Franklin's Wildlife Photography Challenge. So I haven't done the first Beverly mission in this save file. I've just completed the main mission, so we'll go do that first. The first Beverly side mission must be complete to start the challenge. What the fuck? Give me that motherfucker. Hey, 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 whoa, back off there, cowboy. I know my constitutional rights. Anyway, I know you're coming here to suck cock, so it's all right. What the fuck you talking about? Wow, well, hey, I mean, I love black people. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like, I love gangsters. I love, like, gangster rap. Yo, sup? Oh my God, it's Miranda. Miranda, I love you, Miranda, come on. Come on, come on, it's fucking Miranda fucking Cowan! Cause she's a fucking megastar! No, no, leave me out your shit, man. Oh, no, 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 we, we can make boku bucks here, man! We get one picture of, of her of her hairy legs or her aging muff, and we are in the money, man! In the money, bro! Come on! Come on, man! Come on! What the fuck is wrong with me? There's just a competing paparazzo guy that you kill at the end, and then the mission ends. This dude. Jesus! You didn't have to kill the guy! <laughs> what a bounce! Well, it's done now! A terrible accident, but life must go on. And I'm already late for my next stakeout. Let's go! Get the hell out of here! Alright, homie. It's been an education, dawg. Look, keep on making the world a better place, you hear me? Yeah, the public needs to know. The fans deserve answers! We'll continue the search for the truth! So apparently I get a text message. Not everyone is cut out for snapping the stars, homie, so I signed you up to a wildlife photography competition. Lol, enjoy the little leagues. What an asshole. But thank you for giving me more content. You've been nominated to take part in the Southern San Andreas Premier Amateur Photography Competition. List of animals to photograph. Boar, border collie, cat, chicken, hawk. Okay, and there's just a lot of stuff. Mountain lion, uh oh. Make your own chum, fill your glands with mountain lion pheromones, rub yourself in honey, and jack off in a bear pit. Do whatever it takes to get the shot of your life, and try not to get eaten unless you've uploaded first. So now I have to go take pictures of all those animals. The first one is a piggy located here. I'm going to call this piggy Pumba for no particular reason. One of 20. I'm now a professional photographer. So each email gives you an update list as to what you've done. Good, good, good. So we're getting a border collie now. What is a border collie? It's a collie that lives near borders. Is that a border collie? It's a doggo. Get out of the way. You're looking quite happy. <gasps> yes. Happy doggo. So need a cat now. The places I'm going for these animals are not the only place that they spawn. I mean, cats are basically everywhere. I've caught you. 
It's like we're playing Pokemon Go. You remember that game? Nah, you don't remember that game. Now we're getting a Chicken Hawk. Isn't that a character from the Looney Tunes? I assume it's gonna be in the sky. Ouch. Maybe? Perfect. I'm basically a Disney princess. No, my taxi! I can get animals to come to me, but not bloody taxis. Well, actually, I suppose I can. <laughs> I can get taxis to come to me. Okay. Now we're getting a Cormorant. Did I already do that? It it says the Cormorant is also here. Uh, so I guess in the sky was two different types of birds? I mean, that doesn't look like a good picture anyway. Oh, well, maybe. First try. Nice. Next up is a cow, which I always jokingly refer to as a deer, but for this particular instance, I will refer to it as a cow. I can't even remember where that joke came from. It's from one of my old episodes or something. Okay, six of 20. Next is coyote. Like a lot of these animals are like everywhere. I mean, this is these are the coyotes that you shoot with, uh, mm, with, with, uh, uh, hey bud, how you doing? What's his name? Ah! Cletus, there you go. Oh, jeez. That's embarrassing. No, stop running away from me! Ah, I'm... We'd be extra stealthy. Just be very quiet. Oh, so cute. There we go. So now I need a crow and it's sending me back to the same spot where I was before taking a picture of the cow. Like, if I had planned this ahead, I could have just, like, looked where they all were and taken them at the same time. They all look the same from this far. Like, let's just try this one. Oh. No, it was, it was totally a crow, though, you machine. Surely. You son of a bitch. Like, is it a crow? Ah, uh, that mm, maybe. Ah, uh, maybe that's just not a crow. I should probably take a picture of rabbit while I'm here. I mean, because obviously I'm gonna need one at some point. It's a perfect shot of a crow, dude. That's perfect, man. Pickiest bloody thing ever. The reason I was having trouble is because I had already taken a picture of a crow when I was trying to take a picture of a cormorant. And so all these pictures I took of crows was completely pointless. Excellent. What the fuck is a cormorant? That is my question too. All birds look the same. I don't care if it is racist to say, it's just how I feel. Perfect. You- Okay, there, there can't be a cormorant thing, because that was a perfect fucking picture. Here's one. Yes. Aha! It made a different sound. That means I have succeeded. Excellent. 9 of 20. Moving up in the world. Dear contestant, thank you for your recent photographic submission. Okay, need to get myself some deer. Aha! I have found you. You thought you could escape me, but no. 10 of 20. Time to find some hens. Oh, I know where the hens are. If I'm facts and glitches, yeah. Look at all these people. Having friends and stuff. Is it a sad thing that random people in GTA 5 have more of a life than I do? Like, I'm looking for behind the hospital. Just die? Okay, that is actually a very good way to find the hospital. <laughs> so, back here. I hear them. See, look, they run against the wall there. Because their scripting is bad. If you didn't know that, how have you not seen every one of my Facts and Glitches episodes? How dare you? 11 to 20. Next up is a husky. Was that a husky near the hens? Ah, uh, Maybe? I'm not very good with dog breeds. Either in real life or in this game. Nah, probably wasn't. It died? What died? Did I do the bad? Oh, the dog walked off the edge and died? Oh, like it from Facts and Glitches, of course. I didn't see it. It blended into the ground. Got a random event here. I don't care about that. Somebody stop that guy. I'm not gonna save your bike, my dude. Forget it. He's gone. I can kiss goodbye to that bike. Yeah, you won't have to live without your bike for very long. 
<laughs> Instant karma. I would imagine that the dog at the water park thing. Ah, uh, there's a dog. I don't think that's a husky. But it could be. I, I... <clears throat> Aha! A genius I am. Now it's time for a mountain lion chat. I have a lot of experience with finding those. Just do Mr. Phillips. <laughs> no. Because normally I duck behind the tree. But this car, I can do the exact same thing I just did there. To give myself perfect cover. To kill these bikers. What? There aren't cougars in missions. I heard it, but there aren't cougars in ma- this, this is millions to one. This is actually me. I have been playing this game for 8,000 hours. I have never seen an animal kill someone in a mission before. I haven't even seen a cougar in this area in a mission. <laughs> Chat, I assure you, there are cougars outside of missions. Would you like me to yell at chat? There are cougars outside of missions! This is not millions to one! It's absolutely certain! Okay. Hey, look, a paper. I haven't collected those in this save file, and I won't start now. Yo, what the fuck, man? So you real mean, huh? Unavoidable, chat. Had to be done. The cougar that consistently spawns here on the bike ride with Dom. I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. I see it. I see it. I see it. Uh-oh. Eh, eh, no, no, eh, no, eh, eh, no, no, ah, no. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, <laughs> okay. That's right. I win this round. Oh, we're getting pigs. Pigs are quite rare. I have a parachute, right? I do not have a parachute. Dang. Yes, it is kind of sad that I walked past a parachute and didn't grab it. That's my bad. Excuse me, sir. Where are the piggies? You are kind of large yourself. Perhaps you count as a piggy? Unfortunately, no. The differences between that man and a piggy are purely semantic. Perfect. Wonderful! Why don't I just take a selfie? Are you calling me a pig? Wow. Rude. you never catch me calling another person a pig. Now I need a poodle. Poodles. 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 Hello. I heard a dog. Well, this is a different type of dog. May I should take a picture of this while I have the chance? It's got a red nose. Okay, I don't know what this is, but uh, I got it. I think it was a retriever. Regardless, still need the poodle. There is a lack of poodles showing respect for the dead. This is why I don't like poodles. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 ah, oh, yes. I think I was a little bit too excited there to take a picture of this dog's ass, but I'm just very excited to get a little bit more achievement in the thing, okay? <laughs> so now I need a pug with a little squashed up face. I should be killing the dogs that I don't need so their barks don't throw me off the tra trace. It's another wrong dog. So mean! Oh, so mean! Don't tell me when I did that. True, there is a pug that spawns by ponds and bees. Let's go over there. Oh, oh, I need that. I need that. I need that. I need that. It's a. It's, what's it called? A courier? A courier? A, a, a something? That is a West Highland Terrier. Alright, so the pug is not here. Guess the pug already has some good clothing. Oh, don't go away from me, car. Oh, God dang it. Pugs also spawn in here. I, I, I've seen pugs in here before. Another terrier. Don't hit me. 
Sorry. Oh. Oh. I don't like being told what to do. Like, I didn't like the insinuation that I was gonna hit her. Like, why did she, why did she think that I would hit her? I'm, you know? The car was in the ground. Is it possible that this reality isn't really real? And I'm just in a simulation? No. Of course not. Why say foolish things? You nearly killed me! Nearly? I almost killed a chat. <gasps> a pug! Clearly the pug smelled the flesh and blood and uh, thus came running. Boop. Look at this dog, Satan incarnate. All right, two more. I already have the rabbit, I already have the retriever, Rottweiler and Seagull, both very easy to get. Chop my boy, that's a nice pile of shit you've got there. Yeah. He's so photogenic, he good boy. And now for a seagull. What happens when you get all the pictures? I'm literally about to do it, man. Why not just wait for me to do it, then you'll find out. Uh, don't, they're getting away. Yes? All right, perfect picture. Woo! Success. Congratulations! The Southern San Andreas Tourist Board Young Amateur Wildlife Photographer of the Year competition is over. Some of our photographers fell off cliffs. A few got eaten by mountain lions. Wouldn't know the feeling. But only one of them sent us photos of all the animals on our list and signed over the image rights without question. That young photographer was you. Congratulations. You have won a new limited edition Kraken Submersible. Since you've traversed the landmass of Southern San Andreas in your search for images for our calendars, stamps, and mouse mats, we'd love you to continue your adventure in the seas. And we mean it when we say we can't wait to find new ways to take advantage of your talents in the future. And here it is. Wow. So this submersible is way faster than the other one. But you can buy one for 1.3 million from Doc Tees. Let's just show that. This unlocks here as well when you finish that challenge. Yeah. It is truly the best way to see the underwater area. So next up is the monkey mosaics. Around the map are 50 space monkey graffiti tags for Franklin to find and photograph. This event requires you to take a picture of the author of the monkey mosaics, but be aware that only the returning players can finish this event. Okay, this I definitely need a helicopter for. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh no. What an amazing dive, Franklin. Thank you. Okay, buddy. There you go. Look where oh. Come on, move. Yeah, move. What's her problem? Why buy one when I can just get one for free at the airport? Cause like, shut up. I'm gonna assume the Swift is the fastest helicopter. A Swift Deluxe. Is that five million dollars? A questionable purchase, to be sure. How were all the collectibles found by the community? It's a funny thing that Rockstar released a guidebook with all the answers in it. So. This guidebook. How, how do you think I became so good at the game? I, 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 I took Rockstar's guide and I read it. Cover to cover, every day. I've got all the elite hacks, all the secrets. You think these glitches that I showed facts and glitches weren't intended by Rockstar? Of course not. I'm taking them from the book. I'm going to take the exact same order as the guide shows, so I don't get confused. And that requires me to fly all the way to the other side of the map. Hey, boo, what's happening? Uh, hi, Franklin. I'm calling to tell you I'm getting married. No way! I don't care. I've already put the landing gear up, chat. I can't put it up more. You want me to put it down and then put it back up again? You got a fetish? Look how smoothly those go in. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. This shit shouldn't be allowed on Twitch. Think of the children! Uh, I assume I can't just take pictures of them with my helicopter. See, the first one's there. You see a green thing? Maybe I can. Oh, what's the, what's the picture button? That one? Okay. Uh, 
Oh, please stop. Stop hurting me. Okay. I'm gonna assume it doesn't like that. Let's just let's just get out of here. Okay. Why didn't I put down my wheel? This is why you put down goddamn wheels. If you always fly with your wheels down, then you never forget them when you need to land. Beautiful. One of fifty. Now, which building is this? Is it this one? Oh, it's further behind. Ah, here it is. It's not on that street. Okay. Oh, okay. My helicopter is already dying. Wheel. Rip five million. Oh, oh, but come on. You can easily repair a helicopter. Look, look, look at this repair here. Look at that perfect repair. Genius. I have expanded and enhanced early. Look at that seamless character switching. <laughs> Under here. This artist sure gets around. Like some sort of slot of the art world. Anywhere, anytime. On anything. For anyone. So we're somewhere in here. Did I study psychology? I studied a lot of things. I learned everything I needed to learn on, on the streets. Psychology being one of them. Uh, this is not it. Is it the other side? It is indeed. I don't know what it is with these polygons in particular. I had the same thing happen when I was doing online that time, remember? There it is. That's the guy. Next one is here. Hmm. Oh no, birdie, why? Yeah. Need to get rid of the body. Get rid of the evidence. Now they won't know it was killed by a helicopter. They can't tie it to me. What it? A bunch of enemies are coming for me? There's a guy on a bicycle? Bought a bicycle to a helicopter fight? That's a stupid decision to make. These guys really like that bird. Oh, he dead. So the next one is up here. I'll give this artist one thing, though. He'd be a good challenger for GTA Guesser. Wow, a monkey drawing. Don't see that every day. Some sort of broken house. What's this random event over here again? I will tell you again. Get the hell out of here. Now I already asked you nice Nah. You I saved you, man. Oh, let me sort you out. Does he actually pay me? I can't remember this random event. Oh, more? You're no joke, dog. I prayed for a crazy motherfucker, and the big man came through. This is for you. you hey! Thousand dollars, thank you! So I got paid like... 150 bucks per murder. That's a pretty good deal. Actually, no it's not. That's a terrible deal. What am I saying? Crime doesn't pay. <laughs> 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 it's in- is it in the building? My blinds? Uh, oh there it is, through the, through the wall. I see it. Can I get it though? It's not good enough for you, game? Can I- can I shoot these- that do it through- is off? God damn it. Do I have to climb in somehow? So I guess you just meant to take the picture through the thing, but I just gotta be more careful. So like, I'll stand up here. Game's being a bit of a dick right now, not gonna lie. I can't even like, crouch down. Fuck it, I'm gonna climb in. But then won't I be stuck? Oh wait. I may have made a slight miscalculation, chat. Just a little one, you know? I, okay, we'll take these guys' car. Ah! Ah! 
Start for Sprunk, get some health. Oh, but why why am I getting a wonder level for drinking a Sprunk? Come on, man. I didn't do nothing wrong. Oh, clearly it was for the littering, of course. They knew I was about the litter. Okay, so we'll go park a car here. Okay. They found me, chat. But I'll get the monkey mosaic first. Excellent. Now let's make like a tree and get out of here. If I can get back in the uh, helicopter here. Oh crap. I'm leaving, guys. No! It's impossible. Got maybe one chance of this. I want to go, because the door's going to screw me. Ah. Uh, it cannot be done. Kill me! Four stars just because I littered, man. The world isn't just. There it is. My beauty. I'm sorry I abandoned you. Wait, that fence doesn't get destroyed? Oh. You'd think I'd know that by now. I swear I've tried to do that at least ten times. And, uh, the other one is, uh, here in this side building. What do we get as a reward? Why don't you wait and see? Hang out. Take a load off. Grab some popcorn. Watch as the guy flies slowly around the map in a helicopter. The height of entertainment. Why spoil the ending for yourself? It's about the journey, not the destination. Okay, let's not park my helicopter in some place that I can't get it back. Nice. Maybe I should take a picture of myself, uh, with the homeless. Maybe give them a dollar. Get myself some cred on, uh, YouTube. Look at how much I care. See, I'm such a nice guy. I didn't give them one dollar. Uh, I, it's in the mail. No one carries cash on them anymore, man. I had to, I'm just gonna mail him a check. It's alright. The next one is, like, between these two buildings. Here we go. Hey, it's blue, my favorite color. We're like one-fifth of the way there. Crazy. So the next one is behind this building here. Robbery! Call the cops! Call the cops. It's a robbery. Ah, I don't care. But let's be real. Saving innocent people from being accosted by criminals is not more important than taking pictures of art. Gotta have your priorities straight. So the next one is up here. Just very close. Yeah. Beautiful. Next one's much further away. It's all the way over... Where's the thing? This thing. Would I ever consider switching to a gold shirt instead of a black one? I mean, if you want to give me a shirt made of gold, I would totally accept it. I would make that sacrifice. Beautiful. Next up is over here somewhere. Scrapyard, that's it, yeah. Okay. So next one's around here somewhere. Yeah, like, how would you ever see this if you weren't looking for it? Next one is in Mirror Park. I put stuff in my hair? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I jizz every morning and use that as hair, hair gel. You know, gotta save money. How do you think people did their hair back in the day before, like, industrialization and companies, all that shit, man? It's all natural. The body provides. Fight capitalism, guys. Use your jizz for hair gel. <laughs> Next one is on the side here. So, El Bureau Heights? Oh, it's... It blends in so well, man. I oh, thought it wasn't going to count. 
Oh, it's on the roof. It's on the roof. Where specifically? I'm not sure. Oh, is that it in the corner there? Look how it blends in, man. You tricky bugger. South Los Santos. I am really happy that I got this helicopter instead of using a taxi. I would have been screwed. Beautiful. Almost 50% of the way done. Dutch London streets. That's an easy one to find right there. Beautiful. Okay, back on track. Alpha male. <laughs> That's funny. Should change it and up there to a uh, Sigma male, which I, uh, I believe is what people call themselves today. I mean, and by people I mean fuckwits, but you know. Oh, there's another one here? Oh no, it's over here. Yeah, so it's just, just across. Found you. Next is Elysian Islands. I got another under the bridge. Oh shit, okay, my helicopter's really not doing well. I think it's that down there. I'm hoping to get to 25 before I repair it. I mean, I could just switch characters, but I mean, I'm gonna change the time of day anyway, so. Help, that guy stole my car. Not your car. I don't care. Get yourself a golden chopper like me. Let's go. Let's go. Clearly, the actor who plays Franklin should also play Mario in the new Mario movie. He's got more experience than Chris Pratt. This one is uh, on the side here somewhere. Start you piece of crap. Stop beeping. I will pay you soon. Fine. Needy fucking helicopter. Oh, it's the, it's the guy. It's the guy. Come on. Never gets old. Oh shit. Yay. This could be it. Somewhere here. Uh, didn't count. Please tell me I don't have to, like, actually go in there. Are you, are you, you crazy? You're insane! Wow! The things I do for us. What? Finally? Pickiest bloody photo thing ever? So this is behind this mechanic, I think. There was a gate. Look, gates are for poor people. Not people with five million dollar golden helicopters, okay? You think Jeff Bezos goes through gates? Come on now. Bill Gates does? Yeah, that's why he's not the richest guy in the world anymore. Spends all his time going through gates. You wanna know how to get rich, guys? You don't spend money on $4 coffees, you don't go through gates, and you inherit a lot of money. <laughs> it's really that simple. You only have yourself to blame if you're not a billionaire right now. For a second there, I thought that wasn't going to count. Okay, we're exactly halfway, guys. Almost 60% of the way. Where the fuck is that? It's on the side here somewhere. Was it in the bush? It's hidden behind a bush. Tricky. Are you... There's a leaf in the way! We will not accept this image! We don't pay you to take pictures of leaves. We pay you to take pictures of the exact same image around the city. There is one here, apparently, at the dock. Yes. We're like 80% of the way, guys. If you round up to the closest 80%. I mean, if you ignore reality, we're like 90% done. Near the beach. Think about it, guys. 50% is close to 60%, and 60% 
is close to 70%, and 70% is close to 90%, and 90% is close to 100%. So we are, we are actually done. Like, we're actually done right now. Woo! <laughs> but just for the fun of it, I'm going to fly around in the helicopter anyway. Hey, that's a big one. The artist is not willing to change up their design, but totally willing to change up the size. I... that, that, that didn't count? It's, it's too big? It's so big it's making everyone scared? It's too big to handle, apparently. So whiny, just use two hands, you'll handle it. <laughs> so at the pier? Oh, 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 oh. Nailed it. Wait a second, isn't it possible to destroy park benches? Couldn't you then destroy this monkey mosaic? I must know the limits of my destructive capabilities. Okay, no, I can't destroy it. Well, that's unfortunate. Sand Castle Way. Perfect. Over now to the Vespucci Canals. Never really take notice of this little skate park here. Are you for real? What, you don't like the angle? Oh, he did a bicycle trick. Stop making me look bad. Okay. Uh, next one just over here. This is Del Perro. This is the building you use for an apartment in online, right? CEO office, that's fine. See, I do know some things vaguely about online. What's down these stairs? Ah, subway. Nice. Just close by? It's a hard one to miss. I mean, as long as you're looking for it. I could just... What is the... Perfect. Like a glove! Watch this thing reject it because there's flags in the way or some shit. Oh no, we're good. Oh, there's one on these stairs? Nailed it. I better switch characters and uh, fix my helicopter. Finally feel like I can really make a difference in the world. Yeah. He was momentarily just not giving a fuck about that fire. The house next to the church. Cool. So here near the stairs. Nice. I don't know where are ah, these two buildings here. Apparently this is some sort of maintenance house. It's somewhere here. And I will find it. I have a particular set of skills. It is inevitable. Nice. Uh, the observatory? Davey! How you doing? Almost there, chat. Going to somewhere in Vinewood? Can I land my helicopter up here? Oh, and there's a ladder there, so but whatever. Ladders, again, for people who don't have golden helicopters. The next one's in here. Don't know why I didn't get that first. Alright, good. Back in Divine Wood. Okay. Above the entrance to the Hardcore Comics Store. I have no idea where that is. Hey, it's that guy! Hey, how's it going, homie? Life, Life sucks! That's unfortunate. Turds. Oh, bullshit. No. They're actually what are you, what are you doing? Oh, you... Okay, got him. 
Serves you right for being a dick in chaos. The next one is over here, uh, where that coffee shop is. I <laughs> like how I have a black arrow. Cops are like, mm, that's a $5 million golden helicopter that's just taken off there. That has nothing to do with anyone who was just recently murdered. That shit happens every day. Beautiful. There's a fountain. This here. Almost there. Uh, I don't know what to call this. This is Rockford Hills, apparently. Uh, I'm sick of it being nighttime. How long until daytime? Uh, yeah, it'll be daytime soon. Graceful. Can I get back over the top here? Just. Just. At you. Gonna make it daytime again. I prefer the daytime. Below the freeway. Surprised they didn't complain about the angle there. It's uh, in the area that we go to for chop. How have I never noticed this? Having done chop a bajillion times. Whatever the hell this area is. Please let this count. No. A little bit higher up, hopefully. Please. No. So stingy. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, in the homeless area under here. Did I ever see this one doing the big score? Don't know. You just never take notice of it because it doesn't matter, you know? And last but not least, there's apparently one just here. Oh, I see. On this other side, there's a entrance. In here. Nothing here. <laughs> Sorry I lied. This one actually looks different from all the rest. Woohoo! Done. New clothes have been added to Trevor's wardrobe. So you get this irrespective of whether or not you have the returning player bonus, but I'll still show it. <laughs> I have never seen this switch before. I guess it's because this particular time of day? To the strip club. Yeah, so Space Monkey 1, 2, and 3. And then he also gets tank tops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And he also gets some briefs. 1, 2, 3, 4. Wait, it changes his socks as well? Socks and shoes, so his underwear is gonna match his socks and shoes. Wait, is that a thing? Is that a thing in civilized society that I was just unaware of? Have I been not fashionable my entire life? Wow. Who would have guessed I'd get such an education doing this extra content? What we're about to do now is the thing that you need to be a returning player to get. So apparently as this LS Customs, you can find the artist. It's possible that he'll only spawn if your characters have garages. Oh look, he's actually wearing the outfit. Oh, I find the deer that pissed on me. I'm gonna eat its warm liver. In this switch, you normally have a green dress. So I guess the monkey version overrides it. Good to know. So we'll see if it spawns. If it doesn't spawn, then I will uh, buy garages. Uh, nothing spawns. I need a well, then maybe I will buy uh, the garages then. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I just run over that guy? Uh, you can't prove anything. There's no evidence. If it's possible that failing this makes it so this guy doesn't appear again, I better save beforehand. Oh, there he is. Is it maybe, I guess you do need the garages. So he's below me, that's good, so I won't spook him. Did he run? Did he run? He's running. What? 
I can't believe he heard me. I was on top of the thing. Do I need to kill him? No, I just need to take a picture of him. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting an artist. He's shaking that can really, really strongly. Still not close enough, apparently. He's doing something. I just want me to shove the camera up his ass or something? Come on, man. Oh! So I guess I did succeed? You saw he had the monkey mask on him. I, I guess I didn't need to take a picture of the monkey mask, though. Holla, you found all space monkey tags in the hood and made it go viral, and you even met our marketing intern. There's a limited edition Dinka Go Go Monkey Ballista Sports for you in your garage. Strap in and get ready for the transmedia release of the decade when monkey hit screens of all sizes this holiday. Wait, so this wasn't like a Bangski artist kind of guy? He was just a marketing dude? Thought it was like some pure free expression of, uh, of an artist's passion or something, but in reality it was just capitalistic trying to sell me a movie? Boo! Uh, go, go, monkey blister. Gonna pick up all the chicks with this car. Oh, it's fun. We will drive, so I can't even brake boost with it. Useless. Yeah, there's nothing different about the interior. It's still pretty cool, though. Yeah. Of course. I mean, it's not even like an expensive car. I'm basically just marketing the movie for these dudes. Next up is, uh, Michael. So Michael has a murder mystery that is basically a side mission, but he never gets like a prompt to do it. It revolves around a murder connected to the film industry. So the first thing we'll do is get all four clues. What? There are many ways to get inside and I have chose the dumbest one. Ah, here. I guess that sound means I got it. Old Fred acts nice, but it ain't so. I'm pretty sure I don't need to take a picture. Davy, we're back. Maybe Davy is the one who committed the murder. It's possible. No, Davy's a saint. He would never. Oh, another sound. Sounds are good. David Richards knows. Wait, is Mr. Richards' first name David? No, it's Solomon. So what? Solomon has a brother? Or a father? Well, presumably he has a father. He has a father? The plot thickens. It's over the road here. Aha. Fred makes cartoons for kids. Funny thing considering what he hid. Ooh, creepy. Here it is. Ain't no mystery. They drowned her because of what she knew. Seems pretty mysterious to me. So that's all four clues. So we now need to go to Fort Zancudo. So I don't have improved breathing or stamina and all that jazz. So this might be hard for me to do. Going for a swim in a suit, as you do. Get a boat, that would be the easy way to do things. Which is not the Dark Viper way. True, I could use the submarine that I recently acquired. Uh, again, that would be the smart thing to do. I see armor and stuff. I'm gonna run out of oxygen. Uh oh. Mistakes were made. Oh my god. <laughs> no. So about that submarine, if I take the free one from there, I'll have to go all the way around. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, it's pretty fast. I'll get there. Are you laughing at me? I locked on, man! I hate the melee in this game. Getting a heavy lift heavy helicopter would take just as long as going with it. It's, it's, a, it's pretty fast. Okay, so we're that bad out here. Yeah, honestly, buying the docks and just using the submarine there probably would have been better. Under the sea, under the sea, under the sea, da 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 da, 
It's not pretty fast? I mean, it's pretty fast compared to the other submarine. Oh my god, I've made like no progress! So about buying that dock, eh? I was just saying how much I really wanted to buy a dock. You guys, look at my grenade. You like my grenade? It's my favorite one. Excellent. Uh, yeah, it's just giving me the basic submarine, but that's okay. They used to have a lot less distance to travel. Because it's just over here. We're almost there. Okay, we're actually 10,000. Why is everything underwater so slow? Nah. Out. I'm a thousand miles away! I just... So close, yet so far. Shut up, you stupid whale. <laughs> the shark's trying to beat the submarine. Give it a go, man. Are you sure? <laughs> Is he gonna go again? Ah, uh, Alright, whatever. He can come with. We have a friend. Oh, there it is. Hard to get a good look. It's a woman with cement shoes. Fun fact, there's like no recorded evidence that anyone was ever killed in this way. In real life, I mean. I expected some kind of a noise or something to happen, but uh... Yep, yeah, she sure is dead alright. I'd recognize a dead person anywhere, given how many I've made myself. So Meltdown has to be finished to continue past this point, which I have done so. And so now I need to go to Solomon Richards' office between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Oh, there's a shark. What? Oh, shit. Uh... Hey, you walk away. He knows of my reputation. Of not being tasty, of course. Very well known that I am not a delicious tasting individual. It was time for me to solve this mystery. Once and for all. It's a good sign. Yellow thing means good. Oh wow, you just get to go into his office? You never get this opportunity otherwise. Good looking lady. Hey, a has. Kind of like the hat that that dude has in Red Dead Redemption 2. <gasps> it was all planned from the beginning. Okay, drinking this, guess not. Oh my god, it's a cougar. I like Solomon Richards even more now. So there's a letter here apparently. Vinewood, August 14th, 1949. Dear David, I think by now you know that I made some mistakes. I mean, we all have. We are all flawed men. And me, who has focused so much on perfection, perhaps the most flawed of all. I'm sure you know the whole story, or enough of us, and I'm sure you must be sick to your stomach with me. But let me ask you, what choice did I have? To have some strumpet, good-for-nothing, three-dollar whore behind a typewriter threaten me and my legacy? It was the best choice I could have made. It was the only choice I could have made. And I know it was an ugly choice, but that is the problem with sin. Sin begets sin, and my sins have multiplied. I know you know the business about Isaac. Well, that was a couple of years ago, and things were just getting back to normal. Nobody knew about it, just you, me, my lawyers, Abe Schwartzman over at Brown Canyon, nobody who didn't have their own, perhaps more, allegorical skeletons in the closet. Isaac betrayed me, in the worst way possible, not that business with Maureen. The honest truth is that when I met her, she was turning tricks to buy hot dogs, so what can I expect? No, Isaac betrayed me in the worst way possible. He did not give his all on the Bip the Dog movie. I warned him, but I knew he was already flirting with Abe about a live action gig at BC. He even shot a short for him. On my film stock, I'd been drinking and we got into it. We've all done it. I buried him in a mine in the hills, then called Abe and offered him a deal to forget about Isaac. Abe made a few mistakes himself, including that nasty business with the busboy, so he shut up as far as I know. I hope you understand how I value our friendship and trust nothing would ever encourage you to gossip inappropriately about me. Let me be quite frank for a second. Were you to do that, well, clearly I am quite prepared to make difficult decisions and I'd make them again. But just to solidify what has always been a very important relationship to me, I wanted to help you out of a spot of bother. 
Fred's will buy a 5% stake in Richard's Majestic for $450,000. We both know this is significantly over market rate, and we both know that this ties us together as the brothers we truly are. You're a talented man who needs to get back to doing what he does best. Less of this artistic nonsense. Action and plenty of it. When people think Richard's Majestic, they think broads, hoods, and Tommy guns. So give them what they want. We make dreams come true. It's an incredible responsibility. Your friend, Fred Quincy. And this is from 1949? Why is this out here? Was he just reminiscing about some murder from bajillion years ago? So we're going to the abandoned mine, which if you were paying attention there, is where he stashed Isaac's body. There's a collectible just out the front of it. That letter. I need to blow this open. Apparently these have infinite fuel, like that um like that I showed in um facts and glitches recently. And so I guess I could push them out and stuff, but we've done that already, so it's good. Oh. Ah. New ca contact Isaac. Uh, press E to cycle vintage filters. Oh. I mean, he's very well preserved, considering it's been, what, 60 years or whatever? 60 plus years. <laughs> this is blood? Come on, man. Are we sure this guy wasn't some sort of undead creature? Yeah, so what I can do now is, while being at Isaac's body, I can change these filters. Or... When I'm elsewhere, I can call Isaac on my phone. I mean, I'm too close. Oh, there we go. To do this uh, filter. I can, of course, put this filter just on my phone as well. There we go. And I call him again. Nice. And I'll just show the filters on the phone as well. Yeah, so I guess it's just one of these. There's so many filters. Now the content for Trevor. He has stock car racing. How do I how do I start the stock car racing? After you complete the mission, Mr. Phillips, Ron texts you to unlock the content. However, if you load a save file where you've already done Mr. Phillips, the game will likely bug and not show it. I spent an hour trying to solve this bug and didn't succeed, so I just loaded one of the old save files that I had that is just after Mr. Phillips. Yep. Clearly, I'm not getting the stock car racers because I'm not a professional racist. Indeed. Oh, here we go. Boss, there's some guys stock car racing around the way. You should try it unless you don't want to. It could be fun or not. You'll win a car if you're good, but of course you'll be good. Please don't hurt me for this. And so it has spawned there next to it. Perfect. Let us now finally just do them on this old save file. Howdy, friend. Come back in a suitable car to enter the race. Okay. Oh. Okay, they were one step ahead of me. I was legit just gonna steal it and respawn it. <laughs> a muscle car or a sports car? They spawn quite rarely in this region. I'm back, friend. Let's get a race on, pal. So after each one of these races, apparently I'm given a car if I win. I think their cars are a bit better than mine. What, what is this? They're starting early? I oh, mean, I don't have Franklin's special ability. I wouldn't say it puts me at disadvantage, but I mean, I'm not, I don't have the normal advantage that I do with Franklin. So people in chat are telling me that I can do these with other people. It's just, uh, it spawns with Trevor. Despite that, I think I'll still do them with Trevor. How many laps are there? Five? Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, get a start taking turns very well here, just to keep speed. I'm gonna treat this as an actual legitimate race here. What's this guy doing? I mean, this guy is not bad. Maybe he's programmed specifically to keep up with me. Look how much faster he is than me. He's just got a better Are oh, you son of a bitch? Don't make me kill you. Yeah, get out of here, asshole. Serves you right for trying to cheat. Imagine trying to knock another racer in a serious race. Imagine being that much of a jerk. Don't worry, chat. I will always be better than the machines. Your fears of a robot uprising are unjustified, as long as I'm around. 
Yeah! Woo! The Burger Shot Stallion is now mine. Nice. And so apparently I can always get this from my player-owned garages. <laughs> it's pretty, what are they doing? Come on, man. Are they meant to do that? I mean, now that I've got a decent car, I shouldn't have much of an issue here, but... Oh man, I started slowing down way too early. Oh, that was awful. Oh my god. No one saw that. No one... I, I can't get at it. I, I'm actually stuck. Only I could do this, chat. I've never driven this car before, okay? And, like, I thought it could turn better, and, like, I'm... I... I'm still gonna win, chat. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not if, not if the cops do that to me. <laughs> ah, 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 aha! I'm still gonna win. I got five laps. What is this? They're rigging it. They're they're bloody making walls for me. Look, I'm an honest person, chat. I gotta admit to you. All that failure at the beginning, that was just me, like, building suspense. You know, making it seem more challenging than it was, making it a bit more of a nail-biter. Like, if I had just destroyed my competition, it wouldn't have been as interesting. So I specifically failed intentionally. If I kept this information from you, I, I, it, it would eat me up inside. And so I, I feel like I have to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Like, it's funny regardless of whether or not it's intentional or not. Did he just ram himself into the wall to try and block me? That's not a good move, my dude. I'm happy I'm doing this with Trevor, though, because at least it makes it a little bit of a challenge. Like, it's hard to imagine even a casual as losing a street race with Franklin. I suppose, though, as I've said before, most people who use Franklin don't use his special ability as we do. We just tap it on and off. True, true, if you crash near the finish line, they rubber band past you, that is definitely true. These guys seem to not rubber band as much as the other street racers. But that might be because the race is so small that you're always within some amount of distance from the other races. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh no, this guy's gonna beat me, no! But of course, I was lapping him, it's totally fine. Another one bites the dust. Yeah, it is kind of silly that they have the exact same race each time. And they didn't even bother to have a complicated track. It's a small track, just with five laps. I mean, like, I can give myself the boost there, but there's no reason to. Because they just screw me. Oh, man, the handling. Jeez. I mean, this is a Dominator, right? Which is well known for having, like, a really high top speed, but shitty handling, man. It's a Mustang. Am, am I surprised? Um, given that I have no idea what a Mustang is, yes. See, I'm just letting this guy catch up to uh, build the suspense, guys. Am I gonna lose? Is it possible? The Dark Viper, are you losing a race? It's never happened before in history. This might be the first. It's so close. Ah, and I take over. <laughs> There's one more lap, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Got ourselves a Sprunk Buffalo. Sure to give this to uh, Sonny Evans as a gift. So there should be one more race. What do you guys think the tracks can look like? <laughs> I can't wait to see it, man. Each of these tracks has been better than the last. Blown me away. Come on, let's friggin' race. But even that guy sounded indifferent to this race. Like, come on, get it over and done with already. Look at me giving all this free advertisement to Sprunk. Not a good business decision, chat. I'm giving it away for free. They won't give me money for it. I need to crash to build suspense, but I built so much suspense in the previous races that, you know, you might be all suspensed out. Wouldn't want you to have, a, like, a heart attack or something. Done. Five races, five first place victories. Oh, so I get five cars, but I can also purchase this car now. Yeah, so it's here for 250k. <laughs> Look at what the FPS does to the flag. <laughs> I'll reduce my FPS to make it look normal. That's 60 FPS. 
even that's a bit crazy, is 140. <laughs> yep, so Burger Shot, Redwood, Gauntlets, Dominator, Sprunk Buffalo. So these four vehicles can be used by everyone, but the monster truck can only be used by Trevor at his hangar. Oh, my face cam was in the way? Yes, oh, you but oh no. Why wouldn't you say something? There you go, guys. This is the four. Isn't it magical? One, two, three, four. You can see them all. Wow. You can pick a flag? That is so cool. Hey, we Aussie. Look at my flag flapping there. And now flapping normally. Beautiful. That is pretty cool. So we've now done Franklin's, Michael's, and Trevor's content. We'll now look at the content that is in general for everyone. So there are two new weapons, the hatchet and the railgun. The railgun, of course, having its own target practice as well. The hatchet, ain't it pretty? Make kindling of your pals with this easy to wield, easy to hide hatchet. Nice. Even has this little kind of execution thing that it does. Ah, uh, that was not it. Come back, let me execute you. For science. There you go. Oh, <laughs> okay, the flip wasn't intended, but that was pretty good. Oh, you think there's a different animation when he's uh, in stealth? Ah, there we go. Nice little bop from the back when he's in stealth. Okay, so the railgun is over here and costs 250k. Shooting range. Um, bonus. There's four challenges? The advantage with the railgun is that it's an explosive that fires as fast as a normal bullet. The downside is how long it takes to reload. And it can go through glass without exploding. Oh, my goal is to blow up multiple targets at the same time, I see. So I just wait until they come together. Oh. Gold, perfect. Yeah. Oh, was like one off gold? Uh, uh. I barely got gold. God damn. Why? I just did it again. I need to wait until they're close. No. Wait for it. None spawn! Why did none spawn? The five, neither seven here. Oh, come on. Oh my god. I got it this time. <laughs> it's so unforgiving. How the fuck? Okay. Seven, good. Good. Yes! Hallelujah! Oh, okay. Now I don't know, like, where any of them sink. Where any of them sink up. This one's gonna be hard. So this one I can hopefully get with the other ones that spawn. I cannot. Okay. I better not lose by one. Oh, no. I failed by one. I hate everything that exists. Every life is pain. I just. How the fuck did you not get hit? I mean, that's unfortunate. Because the secret of the seven, like the explosion is so small. Mm. 
Okay, well I can't fail now unless I miss this. Perfect! Not actually perfect, but I succeeded, so who fucking cares? Yeah, so I guess those gold medals are completely pointless for the discount. Sweet. So you can get the railgun for free, rather than spending all that money. During the mission Minor Turbulence, you drop a, a plane into the ocean. If you have the returning player bonus, within the wreckage of the plane under the ocean, there is a railgun. It's a lake, not the ocean, but you know what I'm saying. Stop it's a sea. Look, door. I'm not some kind of water guyologist, okay? You know? <laughs> so I need a boat. Because I need scuba gear. What's the fastest way to get scuba gear into here? You get scuba gear whenever you get out of a dinghy. Yeah, if, whenever you get off a dinghy, you get a scuba gear. But I can't buy a dinghy. Why can't I buy a dinghy? What? Are you shitting me? Are you shitting my dick right now? That's apparently a thing people say now. Rebreathers do not exist in single player. If I, if I buy this and start Michael's side mission, then it always spawns a dinghy. That is true. I know I already bought this before, guys, but remember that I'm jumping around through save files. With different levels of progress. You having fun there? <laughs> the colon <and> D's. <laughs> Hello. 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 Uh, were you a fan of Frank Mathers? I don't, I don't care about her. Okay. There it is, guys. The dinghy. The dinghy. We got one. <sighs> Finally. And now I need to go all the way into here. Which, uh, I, I can't go through here. I have to go all the way around here. That's fantastic. Okay, let's not beach myself. That would be a beach. <laughs> ah, very good. Nice joke, Dad. Thanks, son. I've never actually gone up this way before. Like, I mean, literally never. I've gone down it like 800 times because of the jet ski race, but never up it. Okay, at long last, I am here. I'm still not 100% sure where this plane is, but I should be able to find it now that I can actually breathe underwater. Mm, this is higher than I thought. I am looking for the cargo plane, yes. I was pretty sure it was just in this general area here. Am I wrong? Is that it? I found it. So it ended up being here. Yeah, so about where I thought. Is that it? No, it's RPG. Ah, oh, here it is. Found it. Ha ha! Told you it was there. And you all called me a liar. How dare you doubt me. Haters silenced. <laughs> Next thing is the Dodo seaplane. Oh, I find the deer that's pissed on me. I'm gonna eat its warm liver. Back in the normal dress because, uh, I'm in different safe out. Still graceful. So the Dodo Seaplane is a random event in a cave east of the Ron Wynn Farm. Upon completion, the plane can be found around the map and purchased from Elitus Travel for half a million dollars. The only really significant thing about this plane, for single player at least, is that it's the only one that you can land on water. It is a water plane, yes, that is a way of putting it. Trying to spawn it with a helicopter doesn't seem to work very well. Where, oh where, is a boat? There we go. I, of course, have a parachute. Because after my turbulence. Did not use it very well, and so I'm now going to have to chase after the boat. Oh my god. Well, that was a weird thing that happened there. Oh, there's a police boat. Which is good and bad. Please get in, thank you. Put in the power, put in the power! Put in, put in the power! Like, as if climbing in the boat is the same as actually being in control of the boat. To be real, I think if I just press spacebar instead of F to get in the boat, I would have been fine. Mistakes were made by the developers when they programmed it that way. 
No other mistakes were made by anyone. I am flawless, blameless for the circumstances I find myself in. Ah, uh, it's this little cove here, which is next to power facility or whatever. Sharks are actually fish? Of course, because you are what you eat. <laughs> it's gonna beat these guys and steal their plane. I'm just that good. Oh. Why do I open my mouth? I thought he died. There we go. I'm just that good. Uh, that's that's not normally how you get into the plane. That that was not intended. So flying out of here, some guys spawn, but they don't matter. You just need to get away from them. Those guys, down there. But I don't care about them. Yeah, so as I say, the reward for this is this plane spawning around the map and that you can buy it from the uh, travel section in the internet. And so I guess I just land this somewhere random. So, the next thing is that the normal blimp is replaced with a... It's a great park. The normal blimp is replaced with a zero gas blimp, which is supposedly faster than the normal blimp, but who knows? And to commemorate the new blimp, I'm gonna be doing the blimp strat. I'll even get a save file for Dead Men Walking, which is the mission that we used to do blimp strat for. But of course, we no longer do it because it's not faster. The odds of me getting blimp strat, first try, second try, third try, 800th try, all very low. I do not at all remember the strat, but I only have to get it once. Hi, this is Atomic Blimp. Can I help you? Uh, I need a blimp as soon as you can. Of course, sir. I'll get one sent out to the nearest available drop-off point. Great, thank you. Thank you for calling Atomic Blimp Services. Goodbye. The reason I look this way is because there's two locations blimps can spawn, and if you look towards that one, it will spawn at the close one. It's funny that it's still called Atomic Blimp when you call them, even though the blimp is a completely different design. I'm not even sure what the significance of this different design is. Like, why is it called the Zero Blimp? Knowing my luck, its additional speed will somehow make this harder to do. Okay, let's give this a try. I need to save early because I need to have uh, a decent distance to build up speed. Does anyone remember what the altitude was? I think it's one and a half, and you want like a constant speed? We'll try 1.1, 1 .1, so 1100. I was so close! <sighs> Might be 1200. That was a solid good attempt though. Either I jumped out early or I was too low. Uh, where's my blimp? Correct me if I am wrong, but I was previously in a blimp. Is it possible that with the zero blimp, you can't save while you're in it? Because you could do that with the original blimp. Oh, you have zero blimps after you load. Very clever. No, it's a bug with the zero blimp. It always happens. Oh. Then this is actually worse than the original blimp. That kind of sucks. Had I known that it despawns, I might have not been willing to uh, to do this, but I'll. So the point is, you need to keep a constant speed and heights. I'll try 1.1 and a half. That looks like I'm too high. Yeah, too high. No, <laughs> I don't want to have to call it every time. Why, Rockstar? Even the simplest of things, you must fail. And so I've been going out when my console hits the stairs. But I will uh, do it a little bit later this time. Yay! 
Yes! Davy. TV! How you doing? How you doing? But it's good as, as can good be expected. expected. But the news is not good. <laughs> good shit. I still got it. I got my speed running skills. Still. I've proven myself to the internet. Okay, up next is the Importante Duke of Death. What is it? Im Impotency? I know how to say that word. So the Duke of Death is a bulletproof car, not explosion proof, that you get from a random event. And after you do the random events, you can buy it for $279,000. So it's apparently along this road, but I want to make sure to uh, not despawn it with a taxi. I also need to make sure to okay, not go, go too close too quickly. Because after I load a save file, there's still like a minute before random events can spawn. I've never seen this random event, so I have no idea what to expect. I assume it'll involve me killing someone, though. Um, is this it? There it is. What do I do? Do I just take it? Oh. Wait, so they gave me a bulletproof car and now they're trying to kill me? That seems like a silly move to make. I just could shoot. Okay, well, actually, they, they are fucking me up. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that bad of a plan after all. Oh, there's a lot of dudes. I did get shot through there, so it isn't perfectly bulletproof. Oh. Um. I could just outdistance all these dudes. Um. Can I shoot, please? Shoot? Why can't I shoot? Uh, shoot. I guess it wouldn't let me shoot out the side of the car. There's one guy left. I can't shoot backwards. Here we go. Nice. I assume that auto save means that I completed the trial. Oh, those dudes rubber band like crazy, so trying to out distance them would have been our uh, hell. Gotcha. Well, good thing I shot them then. Car not looking as good as it was before. One way to make a car less bulletproof is to lose a door. And so that is all the returning player bonus single player content. Did it really make sense for Rockstar to lock this away from people for seven years? No, it did not. So now we'll do the online stuff. With a solo session, none of the normal issues with online really happen. You load in so quickly because it doesn't have to deal with the, the bullshit of everyone else. And of course, it'd be very easy to show this stuff. So all it is, is every single person can now buy a bunch of vehicles for free. It's a sorting by price in the Southern San Andreas Super Autos. Uh, you get the Bravado, the Dinka, Stallion, Dukes, Bravado Redwood, the Classy Burger Shot, and the Vapid Piss Wasser. So seven vehicles. From Warstock. Yeah, so you get the Marshal for free and the Duke of Death here for free. And then from... Uh, how do you say this? Elitas, Elitas Travel? You get the Dodo. And then from Doc Tees, you get the Kraken. Hello. At this Agatha, bloody the phone call, dude. Again. I will I will dedicate Look, a day to, to doing these this. bloody missions so she shuts the fuck up. And the very last thing is I'm pretty sure you get the hatchet for free. Man, it's showing you guys my pin code to my base. Seems not very secure. I know I should just call myself a car. It's fine, guys. I wanted to drive this car specifically, okay? Ass face. You're an ass face. So, uh, hatchet for free. Have wow. Of course, uh, you don't get the rail gun. I assume they believed it'd be too overpowered back in uh, 2014. Little did they know. And so that is all the content from both single player and online for the returning player bonus. 
now after seven years, available to everyone on every platform. You gotta wonder what they've got plans for the next gen. Maybe they'll have some exclusive content for PlayStation 5 for the expanded enhanced. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Wish you all the best. Boop. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It costs you nothing, and I wish you all the best.